This is the advanced SAR expert advisor in MQL5 and we are just trading the Golden Goose framework. This is the English version and whenever the points here suddenly appear on the other side of the candles, this would be a buy or a sell signal. The SAR indicator is part of MQL5 and it's also part of MetaTrader 5. You could insert it on your own chart by clicking on Insert, Indicators, Trend, Parabolic SAR. And if you click on this indicator, you will see that we have a step value of 0.02 and a maximum value of 0.2. And now we want to create an MQL5 expert advisor that is able to find a buy or sell signal and trade it with the Forex trading framework. And to do that, please click on the little button over here. And now you should see the meta editor. And obviously a 5 to 10 minute video is too short to explain a whole trading framework, but basically we import a predefined Golden Goose framework that's an EX5 file that was pre-compiled. It is stored in the libraries folder, that's the file, and it basically provides a number of functions that we can import. Here it ends, and everything between has been pre-coded in the Golden Goose Framework 2017-04-08 underscore en. If you don't know what a framework is or how you can get one, just follow the website URL on the end of this video. That's where you can find out how to rent one or how to create your own. And to trade the SAR indicator we need to create and include a module called check entry underscore sar dot mq5 so we create a new and empty file here first we need a function called check entry because that is the function that we will call here to check for an entry signal and that signal will be stored in a string variable called signal and afterwards we will call the trade management check for a new tick and pass the calculated entry signal for the SAR as a parameter. If you find all this stuff too complicated, please make sure to first watch all the simple MQL5 tutorial videos. But back to topic. Inside of the check entry SAR module, we need to create a price array with MQL rates first, and then sort that array from the current candle downwards by using array set as series and after that we use copy rates to fill our price array for the current symbol and the current period from candle zero that's always the current candle that is created here for three candles now we create an empty string for the signal and we need another array for the SAR values, so we create an SAR array. And the SAR definition can be created by using the built-in MQL5 function ISAR for the current symbol and the current period. And you already know these two values here. That's the default value for the two parameters in the parabolic SAR indicator that you can drag on the chart. Let's sort the SAR array from the current candle downwards by using array set as series and fill it with data by using copy buffer. According to the SAR definition we have created here for the current buffer 0 and the current candle that's also 0 and we need 3 candles and so we need a 3 here, and the result will be stored in my SAR array. And now that that array is filled with data, let's actually calculate the value for the last candle. The last candle is candle 1 in our array, and we use normalized double and a 5 
to get five digits behind the dot, because if you place your mouse over one of these dots, you will see a value that also has five digits behind the dot. Let's repeat that, but this time we are doing the same calculation for candle 2 instead of candle 1 and assign it to the variable next to last SAR value. And to find a buy signal, we check if the last SAR value was below the low of candle 1 and if it was above the high the candle before. Here it is above the high and now it changes and it's below the next candle so this would be a good entry point for a buy trade. And if all that is true we assign the value buy to the signal because now we want to buy. Let's also create a sell signal and to do that we check if the last SAR value was above the candle one high and if it was below the low candle before. That's candle two. And in that case we would assign the value sell to our signal. That's almost it. The last step is to return the signal to the main module by using return signal and now we can close the module with the final bracket. Please save it. Don't compile it because you need to compile the main module. That's the framework in my case. So I click on compile and because I don't see any errors here I can click the little button here to go back to MetaTrader. And in MetaTrader you can click on view, strategy tester or press Ctrl and R to bring up the strategy tester panel here. Our strategy test is still running. Balance and equity are both profitable now. I will stop it, start a new test. And now you see dots above the candles. And I will speed it up a little bit because when this changes you should see that a buy trade is opened and that happened actually. You can speed up the process here and watch it trade for a whole year. Here is the graph for the results. Let's switch to full speed here and watch your equity and your balance curve go up. And now you know how to create an expert advisor in MQL5 that is able to create a buy or a sell signal for a forex trading framework and you have coded it yourself with a few lines of MQL5 code.